Hey guys, so let's do a video. So the last video you guys saw, I talked about these two guys, which is the Max Vision 5 inch refractor and it's F9.4. So this is a little bit longer than they make now, usually a five inch refractor. Usually they make it F5, F8 at the max for a five inch bend, but this is 9.4, so it's a little longer. And the five inch Skywatcher Max Sutov, and this is F12. Now, what I'm just gonna recap just a little tiny bit. So these are both five inches, so these are both five inches, but this is a clear aperture five inch. Should have a little bit of an edge over this one because this one does have a central obstruction. And even though the mirrors on this one is good at 92% reflectivity, it loses a little bit. So in comparison, this one should be about equal, equal to about a 4.8 inch refractor. So very smidgen. But you know, the thing is theory is theory and let's actually test it and see. Now, Saturn is out, uh, so we're gonna do it on that. However, it is a little bit windy today. But what's okay is we're both testing them on the same night. So whatever the windy conditions are for one, it's gonna be the same for the other, okay? I have this one on an EQ4. So it's only about 10 pounds, maybe 11 max with that 8x50 finder. So an EQ4 rated for 20 pounds is going to be fine. This guy sometimes might even come on an EQ2 or EQ3. So it's a little bit better, but it is not motor driven. Where this guy, I do have it on an HEQ5 and it's going to be motor driven. Um, also, why it's probably almost okay-ish I would say is because remember this guy's really long and this guy's really short so this guy's gonna be a bit more stable on an EQ4 where this guy being five six times longer needs probably something a bit bigger to be about equal in stability to this one so uh, there is a little bit of difference this one will be able to track at least I have one of them tracking which won't be as bad this is a dielectric 90, 99% on that one. So I put one on here, 99% dielectric. So everything's pretty much the same. Let's actually test it and see. First, I'm going to see visually. Um, and I'm going to try to use it as closest to the same powers as I can. You can't mismatch the powers. You got to try to get as close as you can. So they're about the same bigness, I guess. Um type of thing anyway let's get this going and um okay so this is in the five inch acromat at 244 pounds Let me put the controller down so I don't vibrate. Okay, under today's conditions, that's probably as best as I'm going to get it. This one is the non-tracking. So that's why you can see it moving. The refractor in the eyepiece, uh, the refractor did win, but it, it was just easier to get it in the Matsutov. Not every eyepiece I find works good with the... Uh... Okay, I give the slight advantage to this guy. Um, it was just better in the eyepiece, but just by a little bit, a little bit more contrast. Now, using the camera adapter, and we're talking about the, the Celestron Nex XYZ1, whatever it's called, um, it was just easier on this one, using a 32 millimeter Super Palazzo and a five times power mate. Over here, I was using an 18 millimeter Super Wide with the five times power mates. So now the, uh, I find the 18 millimeter to be a good eyepiece to use for um, 
the camera adapter the 6.7 and the 8.8 .8 wasn't working very well i don't know why i just couldn't get it maybe the eye relief is just way too big uh, and i was using no barlows at that time just straight eyepieces or maybe it's too close but i had to switch um, so the images I, sh I showed you guys uh, through the camera adapter were not exactly the same powers i don't even know what they were um, i'm pretty sure the mac was a little bit closer so that could be why in the camera looked a little bit better but in the eyepiece this one won by a little bit that's theory and this is uh, real uh, it's too bad it's a little bit windy today uh, it affected it a little bit but I just wanted to show you guys what the difference would be I guess if you want portability you can't go wrong with this one if you just want a little bit sharper this one did win in the eyepiece again anyway guys it's getting a bit late I got work tomorrow uh, there's Saturn I think you could just barely see it right there and then Jupiter is right behind that tree right there anyway guys like comment subscribe and if you know anybody on the forums that are looking for videos that I have share it with them why not you why not me